In this lesson, we are going to build a flower, specifically a rose flower. You can see that I prepared the petal and some simplified material for that purpose. And I can just briefly doodle what I want to achieve. So I will doodle the project demands. The project is quite simple. I want to create a flower and a single control that will really control the opening of the flower. So let's say from uh, 0 to 100. So I have a slider here and the flower will open in a realistic manner. Let's get rid of that uh, little guy, delete it and uh, we can start. The most difficult thing about this setup is uh, actually making it uh, look uh, really natural and random. And you can see I will use the Mo spline as a base for building my flower. Let's change some settings here. I think it should be at least in half, so 100, maybe even more, let's say 50. So let's say it's roughly the length of the petal itself. Let's create some segments here. Let's try with uh, 10 first and we will see how that works. And uh, I will increase this uh, angle H all the way. So once I uh, bend this guy, so let's go maybe all the way here, we will change something so let's play with this spline graph and actually i will hide the pedal for now and here under object will enable line so it's much more easier to see so basically what i'm trying to achieve now is uh, to create a skeleton structure of that rose flower and let's go back to that simple tab and you can see how i really picked up the pace of this guy so it should be like uh, this and uh, really picked up the pace because uh, I'm really expecting from you that you are able to understand what I'm doing at the moment. Let's go to negative direction. Let's maybe go even to 50. That would be pretty solid, I believe. And I will disable this maintain angle and I will get the different results. So feel free to experiment with these guys. So I'm just building the basic structure let's go here to angle uh, p let's uh, maybe set this to negative direction so i'm getting these guys going uh, into a circular helix fashion inside let's go maybe minus 30 so something like this and uh, you see i'm having problems with uh, framing my scene since this little guy doesn't work on this most spline but uh, if it has some sort of a geometry to project to it will work there is uh, one for the maximum to fix and i really hope uh, this pedal won't uh, bug you let's actually hide it so now what i want to achieve is uh, to bring more segments inside which will actually be the placeholders for the pedal itself so let's uh, Try something like 20, maybe even more, let's try 30. And uh, I have to go over this 360 value and you will see why. So I'm really wrapping sort of things around and uh, I can go quite high. Let's go to maybe, let's go even to 1000. So it's a really good idea to use round numbers since it is much more easier to visualize things and remember certain setups so this could pretty much work i'm pretty sure this will be good enough and this most blind guy really hides in itself a, a potential for a complete plants and trees module so it's a really really fantastic I, this is one of my favorite tools inside Sina for this so let's uh, continue i can now unhide this guy and uh, actually put it on this uh, splines and uh, to achieve that the best idea here and the solution for this guy is uh, actually to use a spline wrap so i will hold down the shift key and uh, you see this made this spline wrap the child of the most spline and uh, really wanted to make this spline wrap a child of the rose so tiny mistake hopefully you won't mind now, since this most spline is just a spline, we can wrap this rose petal with this spline wrap 
want to it so we will do just that so let's drop this uh, most spline in the spline slot and uh, you will see some crazy thing happening and uh, there's one thing that I will change here and that is this uh, banking and I will actually rotate it let's go exactly 180 degrees so we get uh, some sort of a really nice uh, starting shape which we will refine with this uh, most plan settings here let's first here under bend you'll see that this maximum value will really serve as a opening and closing control so i can right click on it and do a add to hud command you're not really able to see the menus here once i right click but uh, that is due to the recording since the screen is cut off i will right click here and do a show always command so we don't lose access to this uh, setting so i can fold this and uh, try to make this a little bit more realistic so let's uh, try and add some twist to it so maybe birdie or something like that and uh, it may seem a little bit odd but uh, here under this spline wrap just have to choose a proper axis for wrapping onto this spline because uh, if i disable the preview in the viewport of my polygon object the panel you can see that this uh, looks really solid the distribution of those splines is really good so let's actually search for the right axis so x is not good let's try with y which is definitely not let's try with z and uh, you can see how this is much much better now we are already in uh, some sort of a refinement stage so i can try to maybe offset this a little bit and you will see once that this is in complete spline mode it will basically move them one by one so let me show you that you can see how it's sort of a peeling effect or something like that so I will change this to separate segments because I want to offset these guys a little bit just to have more space here and really to prevent those uh, intersections to be so vivid. Let's go even, uh, let's go with 30 since that 30 is a nice number for this setup. Also, I will extend the end. So let's go maybe, let's go even 120 and try to refine a little bit uh, with these other settings here. Here under this extend, you can uncheck this smooth it because it will really curve and accentuate all these effects. For example, if you enter something ludicrously high here, so let's say 500, you will get uh, more of a spiraling effect. I hope that makes sense. So. We can even leave it at 500 it really looks uh, solid enough maybe even not let's go with the default 100 value now we pretty much have uh, a solid flower of course you can uh, I will just hide the most spline of course you can spend a lot more time to refine the setup but uh, what is important here is to understand and learn the concept behind it. And uh, that's about it. That is our rose flower. We can go to our next project.